future of um, the Jan Rico Scott project and you know where you know quick quick rehab of where it's been and where where we'd like to take it. But um, you know this is my fifth solo record and um, the fourth record with Blue Canoe. So it's huge. You know, one day I get a call from Joseph and he says to me, you know, in this beautiful, mild, but very meaningful way, he says, you know, man, we got so many tunes, we can go out and do some, we can do some touring. And he's right, you know, and, and, and I think at, at this position, at this time of my life, you know, with four records that are played around the world, I get calls from all around the world that they listen to, you know, um, be in my world, uh, uh, only a smile, you know, tunes that I've, you know, albums we got with all these players. And now this album, you know, the, the, the next step in 2017 and forward is to go out more with the Jan Rico Scott band. We're going to Japan with our, with our uh, friend and lady, liaison of Japan and also a co um, uh, um, owner of Blue Canoe, Mr. Tom Nagoshi. So we're coming to Japan next year. We've been going there, and actually, um, artists from Blue Canoe have been going there for years now, and we're building. And this is going to be a testimony because, you know, like for the last four years, I've, I've been kind of fellowshipping, or maybe longer, might be four to five, six years, we've been fellowshipping with um, Japan. And a lot of my inspiration, you know, the, 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 the settleness. The aura of the records is kind of what my vibe is from, from Japan. You know, we uh, we go there and and people there accept, they understand, they want to hear artistic music. It's awesome, you know. So the you know, and moving forward is uh, you know want to get this music out more. You know, let let me be seen, let the band be seen. Uh, we we have Mr. Nick Rose and I didn't. Mitchin, he's a great keyboard player. He's like the mainstay with the Young Rupert Scott Band and Joseph Patrick Moore and myself. And we offset it with, you know, virtuoso players like Mace Hibbert and uh, Randy Honey and Dan Barazu. You know, we you know we got a we have a we, we have a melting pot of players in the Atlanta area that you know that this record is also a testimony to what we have here in the South. It's very seething. When I moved to Atlanta, we had one million people. Now we have over seven. And so, you know, some people say up to eight. So in saying that, you know, you get, you know, other people talk about the congestion. What I talk about is the world. Like this is called world music, world blues. And that's what we're talking about. So, you know, you don't have to shine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, you know, um, going forward, Life of a Dreamer is going to be my really, it gives me the opportunity to, to say something I think and I feel that, you know, that the world really wants to hear now, you know, so.